Hello everyone on YouTube side, it's Wolf20 here, or Firebird, whichever one you want to use. And today we are doing Star Trek Online. With me I have Umbra. Hello! And we have basically done the Age of Discovery prologue. And that will be a separate video in itself. Uh, I'm just waiting for him to come to Vulcan. Oh, you're at Vulcan? Oh, God. Yeah, I, I transport. Behind. From behind. They came from behind. And with me... Now, I'm running the Terran Lexington Dreadnought Cruiser, which is a tier 6 ship. I'm flying something slightly bigger. Slightly bigger, yeah. Slightly bigger. Yeah, I don't think they took it as slightly. <laughs> I'm not overcompensating, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. Thank you for agreeing to escort the ambassador to the gem. Ambass, I believe. Oh yeah. Also, are we? We're not skipping cutscenes, but are we going to be skipping dialogues, or are we going to look in dialogue play? Uh, I think we're going to skip the dialogue. Okay. But the cutscenes probably not. Of course not. We gotta have the cutscenes. We gotta look at how tiny your ship is compared to mine. Uh. And weak and pitiful it is. Weak and pitiful? Excuse me? Yes. Weak and pitiful. I'm sorry, how many times did you die in that TFO? If I recall correctly, you died once or twice as well. Yeah, but I died once or twice, except unlike you or sex. True. That, and you're an engineering officer, which probably you have a ship that actually survives shit and not blows up every... Welcome. Do you have any questions? The fuck? Why do I still have to talk to you? Does it... It says I'm... It's going through the cutscene, dude. Now it's... Ah... Uh. Okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we've we've played this game once or twice, so like later on I might force him to like let me listen to the dialogue, but right now we're speedrunning basically. Yeah. Because well, cutscenes will still be a thing because cutscenes are awesome. God. I got teleported. Starfleet Shuttlecraft. We have lost your flight trajectory. And you are clear to depart. Live long and prosper. Depart system. I'm just going to auto-navigate to the next area. Yeah, that's what I'm close. doing, too. Ligons. This is Captain Katak's all Klingon vessel. Target their warp drive. There will be no escaping our offensive this Captain, are there? 
wide. God damn, I'm taking forever to load. Yeah, I am too. I also might have changed my weapon. I'm not yeah, I saw. I saw. But that was mainly because I was like, you know, I was doing a higher level mission to get a fucking module and. Yeah. Doing a high-level mission with a really shitty weapon kind of sucks. Wait, one, one second. One second. I'm gonna see if I can't cheese this. Semi worked. What do you mean, somewhat? Dude, it, I was it not like hot seed. I, I, I realize a fight's happening. I get out of the cutscene and his health is gone. He was at half health. You hit him enough to get him to half health. And then I finished him off. Yeah, also, what happened to watching the cutscenes, man? I thought yeah, you I said we were speedrunning. I, I meant, like, through the conversations, not the fucking game. Oh. Do we just want to delete? I think we did enough. Did you see the reinforcements? Yes, I did. I 
Aren't you glad the reinforcements got here in time? Yeah, right. We already dealt <laughs> with the ship. That's such a hard fight to win. Bastard. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. Did you just call me a bastard? I don't know, did I? To any ship I mean you, you, you said it under your breath. And I'm gonna see it when you get when when you to start the game, man. Range, but when you post please. this, I'm gonna see it. I wasn't calling you a bastard, I was calling the game a bastard. Oh. Why and would this... you call the game a bastard? Cause it's so fuck. It's you can break the game so easily. I mean, down here you can. My drones got it. Good drones. Don't rush too far. I'm trying to get the uh, accolade. Yep, I'm waiting. Talk to my guy. My guy's over here. It's nice to know that it's not glitched here. Yeah. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it will sometimes glitch, where yeah. you can't do it. Hit it um... And now you have to do your engineering thing. So we don't all die to fiery explosion. 
If only we had a tactical officer to do the last part. It is no surprise. <laughs> Your turret is hitting the uh Your turret started shooting the uh enemies. Um it wasn't my turret. I have no idea where that toy came from. Not my toy. Okay. Maybe it was one of my characters that made it. I don't have torch yet. Like, don't get me wrong, I fucking love torts. I'd rather run torts no matter what else, but not my torts. Okay, then it must have been one of my uh, officers. Come on, guys! <laughs> I love how they go from, like, worn out, like, ruggedly, like, exhausted people to, like, hopefully at attention, ready to be transported. Mm-hmm. Like, we can't be bothered to teach the, like, to transport them the way they are, so let's just snap them into the right low position to transport them easily. Hmm. Ooh. Nice synchronization. Yeah. Wait, are you on my ship or am I on your ship? I don't know which. So, what's good for me, eh? Well done. You saved that crew. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Starfleet has lost contact with the Federation science station in the Kasei system because all communications from Kasei 2 must be boosted by a satellite that compensates. Hidden dangers lurk in space, and the threat of Klingon attack has made even the most stout-hearted reconsider their choice to travel throughout the stars. A last-ditch effort to find a common ground could end this conflict, but there are many who oppose peace. You ready? Oh, uh, one second. We're not going to force compliment, right? Right. We're going to come back to that. Dude, on my perspective, you, like, ran away.
crap, there's still a uh, a frigate there. Is everything dead? Yeah, everything's dead. I stopped shooting, so I'm like, okay, everything's dead. And then I noticed that you're still shooting at something. Like, what, what are you shooting at? And then it popped up. I'm like, oh! Blap. Blap, yeah. They're gone. The first are gone. Not every. I'm coming with you, Captain. There's too much at stake, and I know this project. on invasion was a blow to Gorn's self-determination and identity. As you can see, it the uh, screen can get a little funky because it's glitching out on my end. Oh, is it glitching out on yours as well? I thought it was just mine. No, not just you. Yeah, the game does weird things at times. These kinds of raids are the Ooh, Gorn's attempt to reclaim their identity through their history. It's my geranium. Look at all this damage. We'd have helped if the Gorn had just Ow! That moment when you take a... A rock to the face? A rock the size of you? There's another research team on Kasei 4. Involved, there's another research team. And delete. I wish there was like a damage log we could look at. I think there is somewhere. I just don't know how to get the uh, information. Oh, I found it. Where is it? It's in the chat. If you go over, if you go to the right of the chat to combat, you can see the combat log. Yeah, but is there isn't there a program you could use to measure the damage per second? Maybe. <laughs> they were shooting at you. Waiting on you. Yeah, so I was looking at the damage log. This is if we I'm so happy we don't have to find the encoding artifact on this planet. Yeah, that would have been a, 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 has, a hassle. It really would have. Our understanding of Gorn evolution is woefully inadequate. Are they even offspring of the Preservers? 
The Gorn territorial claims aren't entirely without merit. But they would displace billions of people. Don't interact with the terminal. I can do my science thing. A diplomatic solution could help to save Gorn heritage without disrupting Federation colonies. The protected shields are down. Incompetent fools. What the hell? The shields are already down. I, the science thing I did was override the shield controls. I, okay then. So I might have also got one more thing while I was gone. And here we thought, I thought we were not going to break the game. Game. I'm not definitely in a gi giant mech. Oh, not me. There's no sign of the other. There's no sign. I at least I'm not taking it with like every fucking fight, man. I'm only bringing it out in a boss fight. Right. Oh, they're above us. Why are you above us? Down here. One more enemy somewhere. That's the hostage ship, dude. Oh, is it? Yeah. Why is it red? I don't know. If the archaeological sites in the Cassay system really are from a proto gorn Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Commander Burgess, Starfleet Admiral Quinn. Ooh, I got a love love. So at what point do you want to go back to, uh, not the right button? All space talking, like, level up all shit. Um... I mean, I've already upgraded most of my shit to the point where oh, I can I'm just upgrade it on the road. I'm, I'm going tier 4 shit. Yeah, I'm still walking tier 2 shit, man. <laughs> I mean, we, we can go I'm back to Earth two Space Talk right now. And I'm Still fucking shit up, but like. We can go to Earth Space Dock if you want to. Before the next mission? Uh, no, I can, I can, I can last. But next time you're going to upgrade yourself, let me know. Okay. Like, I, I don't have my upgrade materials on me. I either need to go talk to Kim, the, uh, Kim Masu. To get them. Oh god, no. Please, no. Yeah, you are too big for this nebula.
flight speed. Please give me flight speed. I'm entirely too big for this nebula, man. I'm clipping through everything. Yeah, it seems like it. Granted, that's that's. And there's a battle cruiser targeting you. Okay. Just blowing everything up. Um, I was scanning that hydrogen gas before you exploded it. Excuse you. I keep trying to speed the fuck up to get to you. And my drones keep blowing up the gas. Yeah, that's the one thing I didn't like about drones is it blows stuff up that you don't want it to blow up. <sighs> well, normally they're very good at blowing up only what I want them to blow up. I got the door. I just need to pull my giant explosive charge. Okay, I didn't actually know I was going to blow up the door. Oh. Like, I just kind of jokingly said that because I'm an engineer. Right. And that's how engineers get through doors. But, uh... Evidently, that's actually how you get through a door. to tell you what the clink they want of their put
Oh, you're just gonna have the explosives? I'm just gonna back up. Oh, God. My God, you used three pounds more explosives than you needed to. Ooh, great. See, this is how much explosive you need. So, uh, why are we destroying these weapons instead of taking them for ourselves again? I'm not sure. Seems why like a they... waste of a perfect good weapon. I mean, it's not like we don't have a ship big enough to take carry them with us. You're right, we do. But... I think they it better if we destroy them. But, but why? I want, I want, I want big boom, boom booms. Gas. Oh, which is talking about ships? Yeah. Face to face and laugh, I am yours. Okay, let's get out of this damn system. Yeah. I don't like this system as it is. I've read the off um. action report filed by Lieutenant Van Veel. Pity we weren't Admiral Quinn said you Admiral Quinn, man. I hate the pot system. Why didn't I the pot system? Oh, please don't tell me you're doing Doomsday Weapon. Yes, we are. I hate Doomsday Weapon. Yeah, it is a little bit of a hassle.
It's not even like, oh, it's a hassle. It's just they give you a really underpowered ship for what you need to do. Are you coming in? One second. There you are. Does we can't blow up, dude? I, I know this, okay. But for some reason, my ship really likes shooting them. Evidently, I have a trigger happy uh, fucking. A trigger happy five set of high officer. hanger pets? No, I have a trigger happy fire control officer with no understanding in a ship that does not have ammo. So he can shoot whatever the fuck he wants as much as he wants. I wonder if this is how people farm duranium. Like farm crafting materials. Just like going into one mission that they know it's there over and over and over again. Maybe. Where am I going? Whatever you need. Captain's personal log. I have been betrayed by my first officer, a man I considered my friend, Kavok. Why? He and our group of traitors tried to take the ship. 
Kavalk is the only survivor. There is also evidence that Kavalk sent a coded message to Federation space. I do not understand why a warrior I have trusted with my life would do this. He tried to explain, but I do not need to listen to the words of a traitor. Let him rot in the brig. Ambassador Babat has ordered me to bring him to the Imaka system for questioning. Kavalk will die screaming. It is not an honorable death, but it is the one Kavalk deserves. And now we gotta go to the brig. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to get to you. I just came down to engineering. That's not that, but it. I'm. I'm trying to find the ham. Oh, hey, there you are. You trying to find the elevator? Yes. Yes, I was. Do what you think is best. It's risky, but Kavalk may be our best chance to stop Bavat and this planet killer. I'm notifying all available ships to change course for Imaga. Once the energy drain is taken care of, they'll move in to support you. I don't need to tell you how important it is to stop the Doomsday Machine before Bavat can use it to attack populated worlds. Millions of people are relying on you to save them. I know you can do it. Good luck. Yes, Captain. Understood. I'll join you shortly. <laughs> I don't want to use the ship. Oh shit! I'm mana. We need. Did you drop? I got force logged. One second. I'm coming back. I got force logged. I saw that. Wait, this might be a blessing disguise. Why? I doubt it is, but... Yeah, it's not. Um, let's see. Can I put people in places of foul on this ship, please? What are you? What are you? Actually, if I choose you. Pikachu, I, I choose you. Yeah. I can't. Never mind. I was about to say, like, hey, wait, let me, let me, let me choose the sec the other guy, because the other guy can be, um, can do torpedo spread. Yeah. 
It doesn't. It won't work with the heart. Our fang torpedoes. Scanning the generators now. Uh, it won't work, period. Yeah, I know. We will need to load the control program into all three generators. After that, One second. we can change the command codes from a terminal on the planet. I server. apparently have to fucking interact with these things, even though you've done that, done it. I've only done the first one. I waited for you. Oh, I could. I, I had to do the first one again anyway. Guess what I found? What? I found mines. Mines? Yeah, mines. Are you able to relocate them now? No, you can't do that until I think 20. 2025. It's, it's later in the game that you can relocate them. Okay. So at the moment they're fucking useless. I'm so fast and zippy. The generators are on. Are you jealous of my that fast and shipping zippiness? I mean, your actual ship is slow as a turtle, <laughs> so this is an improvement. Yeah, I'm like a fucking alligator snapping turtle, man. I'm slow, I'm tough, and if you put something in front of me, it dies. Okay, we're on this office. The objective here is simple. Find a control console and change the command codes. Then Bavat won't be able to stop us from shutting down the energy drain. There are two consoles. The Alpha console is staffed by an officer who might be willing to negotiate. The Beta console, uh, let's just say that Commander Toth prefers fighting to talking. The soldiers here shouldn't challenge you, but be careful of the TARS. The hollow emitters won't fool them. I have another task to complete. Meet me back here when you are done with the command codes. Okay, so we're gonna go to the beta console, right? We're gonna we're gonna diplomacy this shit. I don't think you can do it either way. I think it doesn't matter which way we go. Right, let's try beta con. Let's see if we can't diplomacy this shit. Like, I don't think I've ever actually got into the beta console without getting caught and killed. Caught and having to fight. Hello. Args.
captain. This is not. This is the beta console, right? Yes, this is the beta console. Yeah, let's see if we can uh, diplomacy this bullshit, this shit. Oh god damn it. Oh well. Go back to the ship. Yep. Let me take the fast war. Trap in the briar patch like a blind grizzly cat. And here you are again, luring Starfleet ships to my testing grounds. The doomsday machine will destroy them. It will create glorious, endless war and strife. And it is all possible because of you. No, I will not allow you to dishonor the Empire. With your thirst for blood, we fix our enemies as warriors for blood. We do not massacre innocents with machines of death. There are no innocents. There are only the strong and the weak. Are you strong enough to fight your own weapon? I have destroyed the device controlling the planet killer. No one is safe. This isn't over. Warriors, attack! Are you back yet? Not yet. You started that fight without me. I told you I was taking the fast way, okay? It is not my fault that you did not also take the fast way. Captain, going on. I see it. Structural integrity holding, sir. We're shook up, but we'll be okay. Captain, there's an unauthorized shuttle launch. It's... it's Kavok. Hail coming in, sir. I'll put it on the main screen. Stay where you are, Captain. I'll handle this. 
Gavok, turn that shuttle around. You'll be killed. My life is of no consequence, but my honor. No, I must do this. Destroying this abomination is the only way to redeem myself. Farewell, Captain. Koi Kalis Book Lord Koi Puk Bekpu Yahbo Mahbo Se Shubui Se Machu Me Pu Mashu Mana Utbak Pok Chu Nipe in my shak wo ku Malma Hepe Encho Kishak Bak Pumadi Pupare Mashutak Puma Me Pumashuta Mahbo Why are you so shocked? <laughs> I'm reading significant damage to the Doomsday Machine, sir. But it's still active. Captain, we still have the Harpang torpedoes. They might be enough to finish the job. The machine's hull is solid neutronium, so targeting it won't help. We'll need to fly in front of the Doomsday Machine and launch the torpedoes down that thing's throat. The fleet will be here to help distract it, but we need to be careful. If we're in front of it when it fires its anti-proton beam, we won't fare any better than that moon did. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I saved it. Yep, I saved it. Run away! Nope. Captain. Uh, tell them I fought valiantly until the end. Captain. Captain. It might the important thing is that the doomsday machine. Give me my total back. Kavok's loss is unfortunate, 
but he did what he believed he had to do. In the end, he died with honor. Fortunately, you were able to... Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. You've done well, and while there are still... I think we have to go back to Earth Space Dock. Ah, oh, so we do have to go back to Earth Space Dock. Yeah. I'm gonna navigate to Earth Space Dock. I wanna fly. I'll, I'll be there in like 12 years. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be there in like 12 years, man. I bet. All right, I think I'm gonna end Pick this episode here. On Starbase one one. Okay. All right, this could be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye everybody.